don't puke. You gonna puke? I want to get the f down on the ground badly. <laughs> oh no! So not sexy. I, I I don't care. It was awkward, but he didn't want to leave my side. a very caring person. He really paid close attention to how I was feeling, holding my hand, and he's so sweet. I don't think I would have been able to survive this experience today on the plane if I didn't have Nick by my side. I think my favorite moment so far is just to comfort Vanessa. I find myself being, you know, very protective of her and just want to let her know that I'm still having a great time. And I just want to make sure that she's feeling better and better. I'm so sorry. has just brought us so much closer. I'm really looking forward to tonight. I'm back on the ground, back with gravity, but I still feel like I'm floating. I can't believe you're still kissing me after it. Cute. This has been quite the day. This is the most amazing date I've ever been on. The fact that he took care of me was very romantic, that he was there to hold my hand and still be the passionate Nick that he is, even after I was nauseous. It's just something I've never experienced. He's like the total package. <gasps> wow. What a view. This is the tallest building in LA. This is so pretty. I'm excited to get into deeper conversations with Nick and to get to know more about him. I had so much fun with you today. So did I. I'm very excited about how things are going, so cheers. Cheers. I wanted to say thank you for being you, like especially after today and how sick I got. You really stayed by my side and I thought that was really, really special of you to do. It was, it was nice. I like taking care of you. I mean, I know you mentioned that you don't know too much. I don't know too much about you. I mean, I saw a few episodes when you were on Andy's season, and the thing that struck me the most was I saw the connection that you had with your mom. Yeah, I'm so close to my family, so it's very nice to see someone that respects their time with their family. My grandfather had passed three weeks before coming, so I had doubts about, you know, still wanting to come. I remember being in the, <clears throat> in the limo for my grandfather's funeral, and we had just said our goodbyes, and we each got a red rose. It felt weird, but at the same time, I felt like my gran I knew my grandfather was going to be with me throughout this journey. You know? And I'm glad that my family really supported me. Like, they wanted me to come. You know, they said, you need to do something for yourself for once. I'm very, very, very glad they are. And I'm yeah. very glad you're here. I don't, I'm not, I don't want to pry into, like, past relationships. No, I was like, you should pry. You know what I mean? You're not so but, to get, you should I know, pry. but I just... So why, like, why would you do this again? Don't puke. You gonna puke? I want to get the f down on the ground badly. <laughs> oh no! So not sexy. I, I, I don't care. It was awkward, but he didn't want to leave my side. a very caring person. He really paid close attention to how I was feeling, holding my hand, and he's so sweet. 
I don't think I would have been able to survive this experience today on the plane if I didn't have Nick by my side. I think my favorite moment so far is just to comfort Vanessa. I find myself being, you know, very protective of her and just want to let her know that I'm still having a great time and I just want to make sure that she's feeling better and better. I'm so sorry.